If you love the look of boho home decor, but sometimes find it to just be like a little too much, I'm gonna show you how to create a modern boho living room that balances the funky boho aesthetic with more clean and minimalistic modern lights. Larissa here, and this video comes to you via of Houses and Trees, where I blog about sustainable design, sustainable living, sustainable everything. I actually recently redesigned my entire site and I'm super proud of it, so I would really appreciate it if you would head on over there. You'll see that I have a bunch of tips on green design and decor, eco-friendly living, and I also offer e-design. So if you need help greening your home, that's something that I absolutely would love to work with you on. And you also can subscribe to my monthly newsletter, Let's be tree huggers together. In this video, I wanted to talk about how to create a modern boho living room. Over on of Houses and Trees, um, one of my most popular posts is about a boho bedroom decor. So I thought I would do one for a modern boho space and I chose the living room. Modern boho would be for those of you who love the boho aesthetic, but maybe sometimes find it to be a little bit too much. I personally would lean more towards a boho modern space or I would actually call my spaces boho minimalist or rustic minimalist. I like things to be very like clean, um, not too many colors, just pops of colors. If you love the full out like eclectic boho look, like that's awesome, but that's not for everyone. So this is the kind of video that is for those of us who like lots of black and white, who like, you know, simple lines, who like lots of patterns, but maybe those patterns are grounded in similar colors. So therefore they're a lot more cohesive. I've chosen a few inspiration spaces uh, just to show you, to give you some ideas. And then also some actual decor and furniture items that you could add into your space. And of course I must advise you to not go out and just buy brand new things. Um, maybe these are things that you have in your own home. Maybe you can get them secondhand. Maybe you can DIY some stuff. And then of course, there's also some awesome sustainable brands out there that you can support. And then of course you can find even at places that are not really known to be sustainable brands, but you can find stuff that's made out of more um, environmentally conscious materials and in a more environmentally friendly way. All that being said, let's get into the modern boho living room. This first room that I wanted to show you, I really love, it's very clean and bright. I love the white, I love the black, I love the little bit of natural tones in the couch. And of course you've got the big beautiful plant in the corner and the all the throw pillows. So as for uh, items that you could put into your own space, I wanted to start off with a paint color. This is Shaded White from Pharaoh and Ball. If you have never heard of Pharaoh and Ball, they are a environmentally conscious paint company. Um, they use a lot of natural pigments. Um, they're extremely good quality uh, paint. It covers really well, so you don't need as much of it. Uh, and I thought that the shaded white was a really nice, like creamy gray color uh, that could sort of just like give you that nice even tone in the background to sort of build off of. Next up is a neutral sofa. This is the Eco Linen Sectional from Viva Terra. It's made out of certified sustainable wood frames. Uh, it has water-based wood finishes, recycled fiber filling in the pillows, and has soy-based filling in the cushions. Next up is this beautiful patterned uh, pillow, which is also from Viva Terra. Um, I just love that the pattern is really quite a bold and intricate pattern, but because it's got the black and the neutral colors, it's very uh, calming and very modern. If you love black and neutrals like I do, um, this pillow is something that is just like, it's perfect. All right, the next space that I wanted to show you is this one, which is a lot more warmth and color than the last space that I had showed, um, but it's still quite neutral and modern. I wanted to talk about uh, pendant lighting, and I know in that inspiration photo that I just showed that their lighting was more of like a modern sort of industrial kind of light, but I love this bamboo pendant light um, from Etsy. I've referenced it before in other posts of mine on of houses and trees and i just think it's beautiful it's really got that warmth because it's got the bamboo uh, material but it also um, has like really nice clean lines because it's so simple uh, so i think that this would be a perfect piece for a modern boho living room let's talk about rugs um, i love this striped neutral sort of off-white and black rug from Made Trade, which if you've never been to Made Trade, they're this amazing marketplace um, of like ethical fair trade um, goods such as furniture and home decor and clothing and jewelry and all kinds of stuff. So I would highly recommend that you check them out. 
These rugs are 100% wool and they are hand woven in Mexico. If you are vegan um, and you don't use animal products, then this one would not be for you. But the cool thing about this rug is that it is hand woven uh, in the traditional style and uses the locally sourced materials um, from the area in which it's produced. So I think that's a pretty cool um, sustainable piece. Throw pillows and throw blankets are probably two of my favorite things to add to a space because um, using the contrasting colors to maybe your walls or your furniture can really just add a lot of depth and I love this black um, sort of fringy throw blanket that's also from Made Trade. Um, I think it's really clean and modern looking but I also love that the white stitching and the fringe gives it a little bit of that boho vibe. Here is another inspiration room. I really love this room. I think it's a little bit more funky and fun than um, some of the other modern boho spaces that I'm showing. I love how it has the shelves in the background. The artwork all lined up on it. It's kind of like an informal way of displaying your art. And speaking of shelves, I actually found these shelves here on Amazon um, but they are made from solid wood and a powder coated metal. So I wanted to include some things from Amazon. Whether or not you like to shop on Amazon, um, it does have its pros and its cons, absolutely, especially when it comes to sustainability. But I think it's important to recognize that you can find um, more sustainable choices anywhere, that you don't always have to be shopping at more expensive high-end places. You can absolutely find better choices for the earth on places that are easier to access, such as Amazon. Another thing that I found on Amazon is this macrame wall hanging. And now none of the inspiration rooms that I chose for this video actually have a wall hanging in it, but I thought, you know, wall hangings are so boho. I think that if you have a really nice, clean, simple macrame wall hanging, such as this one, that it can go into a modern space. Um, again, it's kind of just about uh, creating the sort of clean look of a modern space and not overwhelming it with lots of different colors and lots of different layers and all of that stuff that would make like a full out boho space. Plants, of course you have to have plants in a boho space, whether it's boho modern or not. I think you need plants in pretty much any space personally, um, but I really like this geometric wooden planter from Earth Hero because it is warm and earthy because of the material that it's made of, but the geometric shape kind of gives it a little bit of a modern edge. And this next inspiration room I just think is so beautiful. This one is leaning a little bit more to the boho eclectic because it's got the different colors and layers, but I also love all the use of black. If you look closely, there's the black frames and the black lamp. One thing that I wanted to bring into this modern boho space um, was this coffee table that has these beautiful black metal legs and then this gorgeous live edge uh, coffee table top. So if you don't know what a live edge is, it's basically like a slab of wood that the edge of it has been preserved. So it still has that really rough natural look to it, which I think is super boho. And then you combine it with the black metal legs and boom, you got modern boho. Another thing that I debated whether I should put into this room or not is a hanging chair because that's really boho. Um, again, people might say it's not really modern. Maybe it's a little bit um, too whimsical, but I think that this one here from Etsy, because it's really simple and clean looking and because of the light color, uh, I think this could go into a modern boho living room, like tucked in the corner, maybe with some plants around it, and then that beautiful um, throw pillar that I had shown before, put that right on there and you're good to go. Okay, next up, I got a candle because some of us, the scent of our home is really important to the feel of our home. Um, me personally, I like just a very like fresh air, neutral sort of clean scent, um, but some people love things that are a little bit more earthy and sandalwood. I really love tea tree oil. That's probably my favorite smell, but I thought that this um, sandalwood candle from Earth Hero, I really like the idea of the scent of it, but I also just like the jar itself. I love the brown glass, how it's got, again, that sort of earthy feeling to it. And then I love how it plays off of the gold metal lid. Uh, I think that this would look really nice up on a shelf with some artwork and some plant. The last inspiration room that I wanted to show you is this really simple, clean, um, quite modern, I would say, space. Um, it's very minimalist, which I love. Uh, but I also love that it has lots of the like warm sort of natural tones like in the rug and then the baskets. I found this basket over on Viva Terra at the same place that had the sectional couch and I think it's super cute. I love the pom-poms and then I love just the tone of it, I guess, like the color of it. I think that that would look really nice with a plant in it. And I had to throw one more pillow in there because bohos love the pillows. 
uh, and I love this pillow because this one is also from Amazon, but it is made out of a recycled sari. If any of you have ever heard of Jungle Lil, um, the woman who runs that site, she is the one who designed these pillows. And I think that's really cool because Jungle is kind of known as like the boho online shopping destination. But I think it's super cool that you can also get this pillow on Amazon because as I said before, Amazon is just more accessible to some people. I've talked about artwork a few times, but I haven't shown any ideas yet. I love this really simple uh, line drawing of a lily that is from Etsy. Um, if you are somebody who just cannot seem to keep plants alive, this is a way to have plants in your home without actually having to worry about taking care of them. All right, and now that's it for the modern boho living room. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the space that I put together or about any of the spaces that um, I featured as inspiration. I wasn't able to find, you know, some of the exact items that were in those inspiration photos, but uh, looking for stuff that is in a photo or sourcing things or finding things that are kind of the same. That's kind of my specialty and that's why I do have my e-design. You can go check that out. You can subscribe on of Houses and Trees or you can subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.